Hey there, Chuck here, Corner Star Car Collector, back with another video. Uh, I hope everybody's having a great night tonight, uh, Sunday night. Uh, I decided that I wanted to show off some of my collections, so I decided to break out my 1956 Topps football set and kind of go through what I have uh, for my set. Not exactly complete yet, I still have 15 cards I need to acquire uh, to say I've completed it. But I just want to show it off uh, tonight and... Um, let you see what I got for my 1956 Topps football set. So a little bit about the set. I'm going to refer to my cheat sheet here. So there's 120 basic cards to the set. There was also five uh, contest cards that were basic interactive cards where you can guess upcoming scores to up upcoming games. And then there was one checklist card for a total of 126 cards. Like I said, I'm 15 cards shy of the uh, complete set. Um, none of them are common, so it's kind of difficult. Well, not difficult, but uh, it's kind of challenging to acquire the cards. Some of them are, you know, quite expensive, and some of them are just, you know, $20, $30 cards. So I'll go ahead and turn the camera around and show you what I got. All right, so what I want to do tonight is uh, go ahead and show my 1956 Topps football set. Again, I already mentioned I'm, I'm only 15 cards shy of completing the entire set. Um, I've been working on this set. I think I started collecting this set back in the late 1980s, maybe early uh, 1990s. And just whenever I saw a deal, uh, I would buy a couple of cards here, buy a few cards there. And eventually when I started going through my cards and uh, put my collection together, I realized that I was only a few cards shy of the uh, complete set. So I didn't even realize I was that close, but I am. So out of the 120 cards, I have nine of them that are graded, so I'm going to go over the graded cards first. Okay, the first one, actually, let me close this so I don't disturb uh, the, the image here. So this first one is a George Belanda in a PSA 4. Next I have Emlyn Tunnel in a PSA 8. Next, I have Elroy Hirsch. I'm sorry, Tom Tom Fears. He's, Elroy Hirsch is coming up. They have almost the same image. Uh, this one's Tom Fears in a PSA 7. Next up, I have Joe Schmidt in a PSA 4. Next is this Bill George in a PSA 6. I have a Charlie Connerly in a PSA 3. I also have a, a raw card in the binder of this one too. Here's the Elroy Hirsch in a PSA 5. And then the final graded card I have is this Detroit Lions team card. And this is in a PSA 5. I also have this one in a raw in the binder too. So those are the eight graded cards that I have. Now a little bit before, uh, a little bit more about the set before I go into it. These cards were a little bit larger than the normal cards from 57 up until present, minus the 1965 set. These cards were two and five eighths inches by three and five eighths inches. So they were just a little bit larger than the, the normal cards that we see today. The key rookies in the set, Roosevelt Brown, which I don't have, uh, Lenny Moore, and Rosie Greer. And then there's a couple of key first-year stars in this set, too. Alex Webster, Joe Schmidt, Bill George, and Stan Jones. So those are the key cards for this set. So as we go through the cards, I see Alex Webster right there. You can see I'm missing a couple of cards on this page. Lou Garza, or Lou Groza, another important card in the set. Jack Christensen's another one. Let's 
see I'm missing a card in this page. Art Donovan. This dude, I, I, you know, I didn't really know much about the old 50s players, but I, I, I do know a lot about Art Donovan basically from watching David Letterman. Back when I was a teenager, I used to, uh, on a VCR, um, my family used to record the David Letterman show Monday through Friday, and then we would watch it on the weekend. And Art Donovan was a, a regular on there, let's say. And if you ever had it, heard him have a conversation with anybody, amazing football career, amazing things that he's done in the NFL, and the, just the things that were so much different back in the 50s and 60s than they are now is just amazing. So if you ever get a chance to, um, I know he's passed on now, but if you ever get a chance to maybe go to YouTube or some somewhere you find an interview of Art Donovan. He is one of the funniest guys around. This page I'm missing with four cards on this page. Got a Frank Gifford here. Ted Marcher Broda, longtime GM for the Buffalo Bills back in the uh, Super Bowl years. Hugh McEl McEller Henry, he's another uh, key guy in this set. There's the Stan, or, I'm sorry, Stan Jones is on the next page. Ollie Madsen's another key one. There's the Lenny Moore rookie. There's the Stan Jones. There's that second Chuck Connerly card. I got one graded. That one actually looks like it's in better shape. It's off center, but looks like it might be probably around a PSA 4. Y.A. Tittle right here. Severely off center. That's almost like a miscut. There's Rosie Greer right up here. Joe Perry, decent running back. He actually, um, I think it was, I don't know if it was 100-yard games or 200-yard games, but he was right behind Jim Brown. God rest his soul. He just passed away, I believe, yesterday or Friday. Uh, but Joe Perry was right behind him. I think it was 200-yard uh, games, rushing games. There's Bobby Lane down here. And then just got a few team cards. So that's it. Not not a, not a lot of cards to the set. There's only 120 cards. I don't have the checklist, nor do I have any of the uh, contest cards. I haven't ever seen any of the contest cards. I think I saw the checklist maybe once or twice. It's that rare. Very hard to find. I think if you uh, look in all the uh, collectible books that do, do the pricings and things, you'll see that that checklist is, I think it's three or $400. And some of these contest cards are about five to seven hundred dollars, so they're very rare um, to uh, acquire. Like I said earlier, I am missing fifteen cards to the set. So what I'm uh, what I'm going to do if there's anybody who collects any vintage football cards from the fifties, I'm going to list the, the card number and the names on the cards. If anybody has any extras laying around and they want to wheel and deal, I do have about thirty five to fifty nineteen fifty six uh, extras that I might, maybe, maybe we can do a swap or something. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my set of my 1956 Topps football cards. Um, yeah, that's it. So I'll talk to you on the next video. All right, bye.